Welcome to Troubleshooting 043 and 044 Errors in Novell Access Manager. My name is Brian Quist. I'm with Novell Technical Services. I'm going to be demonstrating today some of the basic troubleshooting steps in this Google Solutions article. This article goes into great detail on how the communication works between the IDP or Identity Provider and the ESP or Embedded Service Provider which runs on your access gateways as well as detailed troubleshooting steps for resolving these 43 and 44 errors. The first thing that we'll want to do when investigating these issues, these errors, is to make a note of our metadata URLs. Uh, there's one for the IDP and there will be one for the ESP. You can find the IDP metadata URL by going into your Access Manager configuration Go to Identity Servers and edit your ID, IDP cluster configuration. And we're just going to use this entire base URL all the way to slash NIDP. And we're going to add to the end of that slash IDFF metadata, slash metadata. And that is going to be your IDP metadata URL. That needs to be reachable by all of your ESPs, or which are running on your access gateways. The ESP metadata URL can be found by going into Devices, Access Gateways, Edit Your Access Gateway Cluster Configuration, go to Reverse Proxy Authentication, and the metadata URL is listed for you there. That metadata URL needs to be reachable by all of your IDP servers. So I'm going to open one of my IDP servers and I'm just going to do a couple quick commands to validate that DNS is resolving correctly and that there's nothing preventing me, no network connectivity issues uh, preventing me from retrieving the metadata. This netcat command allows me to both check DNS resolution and verify that that port 443 is open. Now I'm going to see if I can download the entire metadata blob using curl. I'm using the minus k switch with curl so that it ignores the fact that the certificate that's being uh, sent is not trusted, at least by curl. And I'm able to download the entire metadata blob, which is a good sign. So I want to do those commands from all of my IDPs to make sure they can um, download that ESP metadata. And then I'll want to do similar commands from all of my access gateways to make sure that they can download the IDP metadata. Assuming that's working, oh, one quick note on host files. Um, <clears throat> for If you're not using DNS, host entries uh, for the IDP will depend on your operating system uh, where you're running the IDP. But for the access gateways, you'll want to come into um, the uh, access gateway cluster configuration and into the hosts entry here and add a host entries for your IDP um, until you get DNS set up. Don't enter these host entries on the lags themselves uh, via the console, or the, the uh, settings will be overwritten the next time the configuration is pushed. So assuming network connectivity is working, we might have an issue with the certificates. So if we look at Identity Server, for example, if we look at that base URL, I'm using a certificate here. I want to make sure that the subject name of the certificate matches my host name idp.novell.com. In this case I'm using wildcard star.novell.com so it does match and so it will be accepted uh, when it's downloaded by the ESP. And the same goes for the certificate that's used on your access gateway in your reverse proxy configuration. I'm using the same certificate wildcard so I won't have any problem there. Now if the certificate were from VeriSign I want to make sure that I add the VeriSign trusted root as well as any intermediate trusted routes individually here in the certificates trusted routes uh, area. And I'll want to make sure that I push those to all of, to both the ESP proxy uh, trust store as well as the IDP trust store. And once you've done that, uh, you should be in good shape. 